So this is a poly polynomial divided by polynomial. Last time we did monomial, isn't it? Now I'm doing yes, polynomial into polynomial. Divided by polynomial. Rule number one, a very important rule. Write in descending order. Remember this thing, write in descending order. Now, as you can see, the highest power is 4. Sorry, highest power is 5. So it should be 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Make sense? Yes, sir. But as you can see, it is 5, then 1, then 0. There is no 4, 3, 2. So what I'm going to do, interestingly, I'm going to write in this manner. x power 5 plus 0 into x power 4 plus 0 into x power 3 plus 0 into x power 2 plus 11x minus 12. Is the logic clear? Yes, sir. Uh, sir, I do not understand why zero is here. Very good. Because zero into anything is zero. So basically, I am adding over here only zeros. So, but why is there a point over there? Yeah, point means multiplication. Oh. Point means multiplication in algebra. Like if I write 2.3, it's a decimal. But if I write a dot b, it, it means multiplication. Okay. Understood? Yes. yes, sir. Any other doubt? Is rule number one clear? Yes. Rule number yes, one sir. is right in descending order. Now, if you see over here, is it in descending order? Sir, but I still don't understand why you wrote 0 into x4. Yeah, I, I will teach you, you know, there is a need of that thing. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, tell me, uh, over here, is this thing in descending order? Uh, no, no? No, sir. The highest power is 2. That should come yes. first. x power 2 minus 2x plus 3. Can you see? Right yes, in sir. descending order is very important. To start of the division. Okay. Rule number yes, two. Sir. First term divided by first term. First term from inside divided by first term from outside. Okay. So what is the first term inside? X power five. Uh, X to the power five. Divided by first term, which is outside, which is x power 2. Now, if somebody do not use the first rule, that person will write 3 as the first term, which is wrong. Understood? So, yes. answer is, what is the answer? x power 5 divided by x power 2? x power? So, it's x power 3. So, this thing will come on the top for multiplication x power 3. Okay. Now we will okay. multiply this whole thing by this x power 3. Okay. So okay. let's multiply. Tell me. x power 2 into x power 3? x so, power 5. 5. Minus 2x. 2 2x multiply. to the power 4. Minus Minus 2x to the power 4. Minus 2x power 4. Okay. Next. Yeah. Plus 3x cube. Plus 3x cube. Dr. Roth, I hope you understood why I did that. Because if there is no power 4, I cannot write this power 4 below that. If there is no power 3, I cannot write this power 3 below that. Sir, but why should it be 0 0.x4? 
zero multiply is four. Zero multiply. Because actually there is no number over there. I'm just oh. placing oh. it. I'm just placing it with zero. It is like a decimal number. If I have to subtract 2.3 and 4.75, I place a zero over here or not? Yes, sir. It is just like that. Okay, sir. 23 and uh, some number is there for... So we place a zero over here or not? Just like that. Yes, sir. Now, let us subtract. When we are subtracting, we change the sign of this uh, line, second line. So let us solve. What will happen? This will get cancelled. It will always get cancelled. Remember. Now this number, 0 plus 2. 0 plus 2 is what? 2. Yes, sir. X power 4. 0 minus 3. 0 minus 3? Minus, minus three. 3. And please bring down everything down. 0x squared plus 11x minus 12. And repeat. We'll take the first term again. What is the first term inside? So, 2x to the power 4. What is the first term outside? x squared. So, answer is... So, it'll be 2x squared. Square. 2x squared. So, we'll... And that's a positive number. So, plus 2x squared. Now, I will multiply this thing by this thing. Understood? Yes, sir. So let's multiply x square into 2x square. x square into 2x square. Uh, 2x to the power 4. Minus 2 into minus 2, minus 4. Minus 4 x power x 3. 3. Plus 3 into 2, plus 6 x squared. Yes. Let us change the sign. 